The cosmos is huge, and tons of places out there are still a mystery to us. For ages, we've stared up at the night sky, wondering what's beyond what our telescopes can see and what we can even imagine. But one super cool mission, with a robot leading the way, has gone farther than anything we've ever built, Voyager 2. NASA launched this thing back in 77, and it was meant to swing past the planets and head way out into our solar system's bonus. What it found out there was really something. Voyager 2 is way more than just a machine, it's like our eyes and ears stretching out into space. Its main job was to check out those outer planets and then keep cruising into uncharted territory. But it didn't stop there. Long after it zipped by the planets, Voyager 2 kept sending back great info about the edges of our solar system and those weird spots in between stars. So, let's take a look at what Voyager 2 learned as it reached the edge of our solar system, the amazing stuff it found and the weird things that happened as it headed deeper into space. The Voyager 2 story started on August 20th, 1977. It was part of a bigger plan by NASA to study the farthest planets. Unlike Voyager 1, which took a slightly different path, Voyager 2 went on a longer trip, getting up close with Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Because of its path, it got to send back some totally new observations about these planets and their moons. By 1989, Voyager 2 was done with its planetary flybys and started an even wilder ride. Its instruments turned toward what was beyond the sun's pull, heading into deep space. In 2018, a big thing happened. After cruising through space for over 40 years, Voyager 2 went past a super important boundary. It left the bubble of solar stuff and magnetic fields made by our sun and went into the interstellar medium. This happened on November 5, 2018, making it only the second thing we've ever made to go outside our solar system. Voyager 1 did it first, back in 2012. But what's really out there? What does interstellar space even mean? For a while, scientists guessed, doing their best to figure out what was beyond the sun's influence. Basically, interstellar space is the area between stars outside the protective zone made by our sun. This zone, called the heliosphere, is a big bubble around the sun where the solar wind, a stream of charged particles, is strongest. When a spacecraft crosses the outer edge of this zone, called the heliopause, it's in the interstellar medium, which is a totally different place. Things are way different here than inside the heliosphere. There are fewer particles, and magnetic fields act strangely. Voyager 2 managed to get direct readings from this barely studied area. When Voyager 2 went past the heliopause on November 5, 2018, it was a huge deal for us. This invisible line that separates the solar system from interstellar space had only been crossed by Voyager 1. Voyager 2 was now in a place where the sun's energy didn't reach. Instead, the spacecraft was floating in the interstellar wind, a mix of particles from distant stars and galactic stuff. Back on Earth, scientists were thrilled but also a little nervous. Could the probe handle the unknown conditions? And more importantly, could it send back info that would help us understand this weird place? The info Voyager 2 started sending back was amazing. One of the first surprises was the amount of particles. While solar wind particles were all over the edge of the solar system, Voyager 2 now found a different kind of particle, coming from the Milky Way. The probe found that there were about 20 times more of these interstellar particles than scientists thought. This changed how scientists thought about what's between stars, hinting that interstellar space is more active and complex than we knew. Voyager 2 also ran into a totally different magnetic environment. The magnetic fields inside our solar system are mostly shaped by the sun's magnetism. But as the probe got farther away, it started seeing magnetic field lines controlled by outside galactic forces. This helped us learn about how magnetic fields act outside the solar bubble. By looking at these fields, researchers can make better pictures of our galaxy, understanding how these invisible lines connect stars, planets, and dust clouds. Voyager 2's finds showed that interstellar magnetic fields were way more complicated than expected, giving us good info about how galaxies are structured and how they change over time. 
These magnetic fields aren't just weird things. They shape interstellar space, affect how stars are born, move cosmic dust, and guide energetic particles through space. One especially cool thing was seeing cosmic rays, crazy powerful particles that come from wild events like supernovas. As Voyager 2 went deeper into interstellar space, it saw way more cosmic radiation than inside the solar system. This showed how well the sun's heliosphere protects planets like Earth from these dangerous particles. Once the spacecraft was past this shield, it was hit with the full force of galactic cosmic rays. These observations are super important. Cosmic rays can mess with electronics and spacecraft, and maybe even Earth's climate and astronauts' health on long space trips. So, Voyager 2's info is key for getting ready for future deep space trips, helping us know the dangers of cosmic radiation in unshielded areas. Even though Voyager 2 was mainly sent to study the outer planets, its biggest impact might be this trip into the unknown. As the spacecraft keeps cruising into interstellar space, it's still talking to Earth, sending back data about this mysterious place. As of 2020, Voyager 2 was still going strong, giving us info on particle density, temperature changes, magnetic fields, and radiation levels way beyond the heliosphere. But the probe's power is limited. NASA thinks that in the next few years, Voyager 2 will slowly lose power and eventually stop talking to us. When that happens, it'll be the end of an amazing chapter in space travel, seeing human tech go past our solar system and into the void. Even after it goes quiet, the info Voyager 2 gathered will keep shaping astronomy and space science for a long time. Its finds have already changed how we see our place in the cosmos and made us ask new questions about the universe. Thinking about what Voyager 2 has done, it's clear that this interstellar trip is one of the coolest and most ambitious projects ever. What it taught us about cosmic rays, magnetic fields, and space outside the sun has changed how we see the universe. But Voyager 2's mission isn't over. It's still cruising through space, silently pushing humanity's reach farther into space with every mile. It carries our desire to explore, understand, and wonder about the cosmos. Voyager 2 isn't just a piece of engineering, it's a symbol of what we can do when we're curious and brave. It reminds us that there's so much more to see out there in space. Voyager 2's part in the Voyager program is sometimes overshadowed by Voyager 1, but its scientific contributions are just as big. At the start, Voyager 2 was sent to study Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Unlike Voyager 1, which took a quicker route, Voyager 2 took advantage of a rare planetary alignment that happens once every 176 years. This let it take a grand tour of all four outer planets in one mission. When it swung by Jupiter in 1979, Voyager 2 grabbed vital data about the planet's atmosphere, magnetic activity, and got a close look at its largest moon, Ganymede. The probe also gave us better images and info about the Great Red Spot, a giant storm that's been raging for centuries. These finds set the stage for later Jupiter missions, like Juno, which is now orbiting the planet, collecting data. In 1981, Voyager 2's visit to Saturn gave us more amazing results. The spacecraft sent back detailed images of Saturn's rings and moons. One groundbreaking find was that Saturn's largest moon, Titan, had a thick atmosphere full of nitrogen. This info later inspired the Cassini-Huygens mission. But Voyager 2's greatest achievements came with its flybys of Uranus and Neptune, which no spacecraft had ever seen up close before. During its 1986 flyby of Uranus, Voyager 2 showed us the planet's crazy tilt, which makes it spin almost sideways. It also saw delicate rings and took atmospheric readings that changed our ideas about ice giants. Its 1989 visit to Neptune shocked scientists even more. Voyager 2 showed us Neptune's active weather, including the Great Dark Spot, a huge storm. It also got a good look at Neptune's moon Triton, spotting geysers of icy stuff shooting from its surface. These achievements made Voyager 2 the only spacecraft to visit all four outer planets, teaching us a ton about these distant worlds. But what's really out there? What's interstellar space? Before we talk about that Voyager 2 found, let's get the basics down. For a while, scientists had ideas about what was beyond the sun's influence, but they weren't sure. 
Basically, interstellar space is the area between stars beyond the sun's protective zone. This zone, called the heliosphere, is like a big bubble around the sun, created by the solar wind, a stream of charged particles. When a spacecraft crosses the edge of this zone, called the heliopause, it's in interstellar space. Conditions are really different out there. There are fewer particles, and the magnetic fields act weird. Voyager 2 was the first to get direct readings from this unknown place. When Voyager 2 passed the heliopause on November 5th, 2018, it was a huge moment for us. Only Voyager 1 had ever crossed this line between our solar system and interstellar space. It meant that Voyager 2 was now in a place where the sun's energy didn't reach. Instead, it was floating in the interstellar wind, made of particles from other stars and stuff from the galaxy. For scientists on Earth, this was exciting and a little scary. Could the probe handle the unknown dangers of this area? And more importantly, would it send back data that would help us understand this strange place? The info Voyager 2 started sending back was mind-blowing. One of the first surprises was the number of particles. While solar wind particles were common near the edge of our solar system, Voyager 2 found a different kind of particle. These came from the Milky Way, part of the interstellar wind flowing between stars. The probe found that there were about 20 times more of these interstellar particles than scientists thought. This changed our ideas about what's between stars, showing that interstellar space is more active and complicated than we knew. Along with this, Voyager 2 saw a totally different magnetic area. The magnetic fields in our solar system are mostly shaped by the sun. But as the probe got farther away, it started seeing magnetic field lines controlled by forces from the galaxy. This helped us understand how magnetic fields act outside our solar bubble. By studying these fields, researchers can create better models of our galaxy, learning how these invisible lines connect stars, planets, and dust clouds. Voyager 2's discoveries showed that the interstellar magnetic field was way more complex than they thought, giving us important info about how the galaxy's structure changes. These magnetic fields aren't just random, they shape interstellar space, influence how stars are born, move cosmic dust, and guide energetic particles through space. One especially cool discovery was seeing cosmic rays that are extremely energetic particles from big cosmic events like exploding stars. As Voyager 2 went deeper into interstellar space, it saw way more cosmic radiation than it did inside our solar system. This shows how well the sun's heliosphere protects planets like Earth from these high-energy dangers. Once the spacecraft was beyond this barrier, it was hit by a lot of cosmic rays. These observations are super important. Cosmic rays can mess with electronics and spacecraft, and maybe even affect Earth's climate and astronauts' health during long space trips. So Voyager 2's data is key to planning future deep space missions, helping us understand the risks of cosmic radiation in space. Even though Voyager 2 was mainly sent to study the other planets, its biggest achievement might be its trip into the unknown. As the spacecraft keeps going into interstellar space, it's still talking to Earth, sending back data about this weird place. As of 2020, Voyager 2 was still active, giving us info about particle density, temperature changes, magnetic fields, and radiation way beyond the heliosphere.